this rapid fire thing, we can upgrade it. Nice. Yeah, look at that. I just noticed that I'm being massacred. We got two... 171,000 gold. That's insane. What's up, guys? It's Ten Kosh, and today we're doing Idle Cannon Tower Defense Geometry. It's supposed to be idle game, but I don't think it's really an idle game. This is more of a Cannon Tower Defense game. So, in any case, if you played those games before, you will be familiar with the most things, but this one is a bit different. It got pretty good amount of progression mechanics but you need to get there first because at start i played it for about two to three hours and i felt that it's kind of copycat of other games but in reality it's not so yeah let me teach you the basics of uh idle tower gameplay first you need to get all the rewards that you can from uh, completing the waves i finished map one on the fourth go or something like that it was pretty fast and in order to do that you need to do the right upgrades in your workshop as you play you will unlock more of those right now we got only the basic stuff and what you need to upgrade is uh, your attack attack speed a bit over here not too much so as you can see they are at 1k and 2.5k cost but most important in this game is your defense so you really need to focus on damage reduction damage block and health region those things if they leveled up correctly they will allow you to tank all the damage that's coming to you and that will allow you in turn to take your time to destroy the enemies the boss the waves and everything so yeah, your priority is attack, then attack speed, then really close damage reduction, damage block, and health region. How does it work? Damage reduction applies first, so when the enemy attacks you and they have one higher damage, it will be cut by the percentage of damage reduction. If it's 10%, then uh, 10 damage will be cut. Then you will have 90 damage that will go through the damage block being deducted from the damage. So if you get 90 damage, it will be minus 12 damage. That's like uh, 78 damage or something. And after that, that will go to your health pool. And then your health region works. So basically, if all those things together calculated correctly, you can out tank enemy damage and don't die while fighting the enemies that's really important and that's a tactic that i used to go through the first stage way easier and faster than farming the attack like usually people do now the third tab is utility tab here you would like to focus on silver per wave and silver bonus just a little bit and a bit of gold bonus and gold per wave for your farming runs right now i've got 344k so we will get more of that um that basically will allow you to get more um in run resources silver has been used to upgrade your tower in the run and gold bonus is used to upgrade your tower between the runs so yeah let's do some upgrades here and there uh, we are pretty rich right now so we can afford more defenses more attack speed more attack power that will allow us to do way more stuff oh my god that's pretty powerful so yeah what i like to do is to keep even cost of attack attack speed and uh defensive stats so that was 4.4k let's go this one to 4.4k and same here silver is like secondary all that stuff is secondary after you upgrade your main stats but it shouldn't like behind too much otherwise you won't be getting too much gold for your runs too much silver for your runs so you won't be able to upgrade as efficiently and health is like the last stat that you want because if you get 1k health pool like i do right now that's enough to tank everything out moreover well upgrading doesn't help that much and those things they cut the damage incoming and this is just your health pool so it's important but not so much as for the range and damage per meter this is additional stats that are not that important basically that will allow you to shoot further and damage per meter will allow you to get more damage per meter of projectile travel and usually the enemies you got the main problem with the boss and the boss will come right next to you so you will therefore would like to get the main stats up because the boss will get to you anyway and those will be irrelevant at that point so don't waste too much resources on that so there we go i've spent all my gold now i'm pretty powerful and after that uh, after you finish the first level you will unlock the lab so let's talk about the lab a little bit here you can do the research that will increase the multiplier so basically now attack have additional multiplier after that research will be done you will get additional thing and you can unlock more slots using the diamond that's a good investment to be honest so go for it other than that you get attack speed research here which is nice as well all those things will boost your stats and after it's done you will get higher number here so instead of 95 we got 95.95 .95. that's one percent right here and the further you go the more expensive it will become and the longer it will become so uh, in order to get 
additional percentages, you will have to spend more research resources, and it will give you kind of the same stuff. So uh, try to evenly distribute it here. Damage block, once again, important. Here you might want to go... No, that won't work. Let's go for the damage block. So yeah, those are basics of your lab and progression. Uh, you can complete them at some point, so there are limited amount of levels you can do. And now when we take a look at the stats, they are way higher, and that's a really good thing in the long run. Moreover, when you will do upgrades during the fight, you will use those multipliers as well, so that will help you as well. Now for the shop here, you can buy the gachas, and oh my god, you can use the golden keys to open premium gachas, so always spend them here, don't go for the normal premium gach because it's inefficient. Here you spend one key for one card, here you get the higher chance and plus two bonus. Is it higher chance? 274. No, it's the same chance to get the premium stuff, but you get two additional cards. So basically for 10 keys, you get 12 cards and that's a really good deal. So let's go do that. And if you don't have enough keys, save them. You will get more and you can use diamonds here as well. That's what I do. Most of the time I spend them here. I haven't played that much to be honest. So yeah. And uh, yeah, below that you can watch ads to get extra bonuses, resources. And there are some packs here, which I don't really like too much. But yeah, that's how it goes. So now uh, here you get the cards and uh, oh, uh, auto earns 50 gold every second in battle. That's really nice. Let's equip it. Here you get the active skills and you will get more active skill slots as you progress the maps and uh, those are really important i got lucky once to get the comet strike and it totally decimates the bosses like this is one of the best skills available in the game then i've got rapid fire which allow me to get additional projectile from time to time and of course gold generator because it gives me gold really really good what else we can get mystic shot is a really good skill it kind of does a lot of aoe but it's not that good against the bosses and we need to focus on the bosses same for the bombs can move they are really good aoe against the normal enemies but not against the boss. Mm. Now, lifesteal might be really good. I want to try it right now. Instead of this rapid fire thing, we can upgrade it. Nice. It costs quite a lot, but when you get enough copies of the card, you can upgrade it to the next level. Not our case. And as you can see, we get a lot of different options here for the cards, and uh, I advise you guys to get a rich one. So for every 30 gems you have, you will get multiplier for HP, for attack speed, and there will be something for the normal attack. We don't have it available right now, but when you have it, you would like to save up on diamonds, on the gems, and use that card. For now, we will use those three. They will work really good, I think. And let's try it out. Uh, the next step will unlock map three, so not yet. You can get instant rewards by watching ad in order to get more resources. 24k gold, that's pretty good. And you can claim it from time to time in order to get extra um for your run. Other than that, in the main main, you got the quest that you really want to do from time to time and uh, claim all that stuff to get extra gems. There are not that many, but they will help you in any case. Uh, you got the wheel here. You can get the wheel tries and other resources when you get the player reward. Claim all option that will allow you to get extra stuff. And you can roll the wheel after that. Let's spin it 10 times to get extra stuff. And you can get, as we did, some premium stuff here. Oh my god, I've got the gold. And some cards. Ooh, more enemy, more profit. The hell is that? Increase 100% number of enemies and decrease 30% their move speed. That's a good card that will allow us to have more enemies so we'll farm more efficiently. That will be good for the farming runs. For now, I just want the progress, so we'll go to the map too. And we got 2,000 signs right now, so we can spend it properly on attack, attack speed, health regen and damage block and maybe some silver and gold bonus let's go although the research takes a while so while it's happening you can go do the run my god i've got way too many resources to do the run because we've got plenty of stuff here Ooh, even more cards nice silver generator that's a really good card in order for you to flow forward this one that will allow you to get 10 silver each second in battle so that will allow you to build way more towers in any case let's go to map 2 and see how it is you will need to spend resources to go here and when you just start the run you will get the chance to select the random temporary card more slots will be unlocked later i don't really know how it says um fast travel use fast travel we don't know what's that but for now we got one slot and uh i think we will get something cool right let's get the rapid shot it, it, a rapid fire should be good it will allow us to do additional shots should be nice 
let's go so now when you just start the run the first thing you want to do is go here in the utility and give yourself silver per wave as high as possible that will allow you to get more of that silver when the wave ends and you will be good let's make it two times speed the slower doesn't make sense if you are sure about yourself you can also get gold per wave but usually i'm just going for silver for like first five waves or so because i usually have enough power to overcome the enemies not right now though stage oh my god it's so complex so hard they're tough so yeah map 2 is very powerful the enemies have high amount of health and because we got plenty of armor we can handle them oh my god i thought it will be easier so yeah let's get some damage block as well then so we can blow as fast as possible and get some damage reduction so our investment in the defense paid off right now and let's see how much gold are we getting out of those fights another unique mechanic of this game is when you're being attacked you get the block mechanic so after you get hit you become invincible for a while so you can't be swarmed and one-shotted just like that bam you see that block thing that means that you won't take any damage that will allow you to properly avoid taking extra damage and we got the boss coming boss have 149 damage and let's get some damage reduction here maybe that will be enough to take him out i'm not entirely sure yeah we are not ready for this i think so there we go the boss is attacking us but we are barely holding it holding it down and more damage reduction please it's very tough we won't be able to beat it oh no yeah we're dead so this run gave us 12k gold that's it that's not that much to be honest so probably we are not ready for that so we gotta go and try map again a few times yeah we really need more damage right now for our build because that's not enough so yeah let's go play map one again and since we already did that let's replace the lifesteal with the more energy more profit that will allow us to farm more efficiently there we go we should be able to destroy everyone here no problem map one you can start ah that's what fast travel is okay yeah you can start the uh, levels that you played before at the very start or somewhere further in order to do that you will need to use the fast travel option that actually requires you to watch an ad and i don't like that so i'll start straight from the start and you can see which enemies will appear where we got lucky we got the silver generator at the start so that will allow us to get extra silver at the start of the game let's get more silver here silver bonuses multiplied times two so now yeah the first level is extremely easy right now because we are overpowered we get more enemies that means more resources so it will take a while and yeah you can't really do anything about that you gotta go through it you will need to farm because i think i've got maybe 30k gold last time when i got through this run so probably that will allow us to get even more as you can see, we're getting an insane amount of gold right now just by attacking those guys. And since we're strong enough, we can focus on upgrading those bonuses of gold, bonus and gold per wave. If you have the multiplier for the amount of enemies, you would like to focus on the percentage bonuses because that will be more efficient. So yeah, basically when you level up enough at some point, you can just leave it running in the background and it will generate you crazy amount of resources you can even make macros that will allow you to run this stage several times and uh, it will work for you in order to do the macros or just leave it like i am doing here in the pc you can download the ld player that's android emulator that i use for all my android games and i make videos like that and uh yeah you can get it through the link down below in the video description it's a really nice piece of software that i really like because playing games on the pc especially when recording or you don't want to kill your phone battery is really really nice and yeah guys with the current stats because we upgraded our character our tower quite a lot nothing should be a problem for us here we can massacre the enemies no problem uh and before that when i played it for the first time i didn't got that multiplayer i didn't got all those resources i barely made it but i won and that was really fun because i followed the proper rules of upgrading in the level so yeah first invest into the silver then invest into the attack a little bit and then invest a bit into the damage and then evenly distribute resources between defense and attack so focus on the right stats and you will be good by the way guys you will get most chunk of your loot from destroying the bosses so they will give you most gold and more silver and after getting them down you can upgrade your skills straight away in order to become more prepared 
to what's coming to you in the future. So yeah, while my character is fighting here, I'll go cook some food and be back to you after we are done with the mission. I think we have enough power to take those guys out without my intervention. So yeah, another important moment about the game, guys. Your damage, theoretically, should be higher than the enemy health. That way you can take them out in one shot, otherwise it will require several shots for you. So our damage is 145 and the enemy health is a bit higher right now. But because we got damage per meter and range bonuses, we are one shot in them, but soon it won't be a thing. So try to keep it right, otherwise you might be overwhelmed. But in our case they have 15 damage, we have... 50 damage blocks so they will never be able to do any damage to us whatsoever so we don't really need to worry about that i actually wanna see how it will end if we won't do anything i think even the bosses won't be able to damage us yeah they do but we out heal straight away because they got only that was 75 or something damage 25 percent of that is being cut then 50 percent damage block and then health regions so yeah most likely they won't be able to do anything about that so even the ranged guys can't do a thing to us because we are that good, we got enough defense and we are still decimating them. And look at the amount of gold we've got so far, this farming run will give us crazy results. Actually right now since we got 30 more levels we can invest everything into the gold bonus. I think it will be nice because we will get even more stuff and I don't know. The good idea will be to upgrade attack and attack uh, speed and the defensive stats with the rest of the silver. But I don't feel like doing that because why the hell not? We are doing okay so far. Hey, look at that. We got that situation that I told you about. If your damage won't be sufficient, they will start creeping on you. And they are creeping on us. I wonder if they will be able to do any damage to us. They shouldn't because they got 19 damage. So yeah, let's see. By the way, guys, your attacks have a little bit of splash to it. So they don't really attack single target. They have a tiny splash. So if the enemies are, uh, you know, grouped up together, they will get hit by that projectile altogether. So yeah, don't worry about swarming enemies. There is a way to deal with them and it's built in the game. Yeah, we are being grouped up with enemies right now. They, they are everywhere, they are getting close to us. But as you can see, that doesn't really harm us. That's why defense in this game is like really high priority, unlike other idle and tower games. If you get enough defense, nobody will be able to do anything to you. Yeah, look at that, I just noticed that I'm being massacred. Well, trying to be massacred by bunch of the ranged enemies but they can't do anything this is funny actually we can easily invest our resources into attack and attack speed and decimate them but this is experiment so we are holding on and yeah guys we're getting closer to wave 100 and the enemy still can't do anything i haven't did any upgrades on the attack attack speed or defense since then and uh, I wonder if the last boss will be able to do a dent in us. Last two bosses attacked us, but they didn't manage to lower our health. Just in case, we got extra resources, so if things will go south, we can always upgrade our defenses a little bit and increase our health. When you upgrade your health, you will instantly get extra health. So it's like um, your health bar will increase and you will get that increase as your current health. So in um, situations that are stressful when you want urgent healing that will be a good option to get a bit more of health bar to avoid being killed so there we go they are right next to me they are biting but they can't bite high enough look at that oh so yeah for example if we would like to get extra health we will take them out no problem we can do this and as you can see that increased the health pool and we're getting extra stuff so after finishing the run we got two 171,000 gold that's insane and we can watch an ad to double that and i highly recommend doing that because well it will become double the gold and that means that your time you've spent on farming will be two times more efficient and now we can afford so much more with that gold and we will go the same route as before so let's see if map 2 will be any different right now after our upgrade what do we get here silver generator again let's go that should be good money saving what's that each wave receives silver by 10 percent present silver now this is really good this is insanely good combined with the stuff that you can hoard money all right so yeah once again silver per wave and then focus on defensive stats and offensive stats as well since we already know that the enemies here are extremely strong 
we gotta get ready for their aggression by multiplying our attack speed and everything and it kind of works okay-ish right now we get a crazy amount of silver to be honest so that's good and yeah it works they are tanking me or i'm tanking them and i'm not taking any damage anymore so yeah defense seems to be one of the best stats in the game so there we go if we can beat the first boss our upgrades were efficient and we did the right thing if not well we are losers yeah we can do it they barely scratch us and we will be able to beat through first boss and just like that you can progress the game one step after another if you need gold farm if you want to progress do your best build available and try to decimate the enemies and you will reach success now i have infinite mode available here you gotta hold on as long as possible and each next wave will be stronger than the previous one also i've got the ultimate powers that will alter my gameplay and they add a lot a lot of variability to the builds this is interesting in this mode when the boss is being attacked it's kind of going backwards so it's not really attacking me straight which is unexpected and yeah your goal here is to prevent from enemies to clog in the screen you got limit of 1000 enemies and if there will be more than that you're done and yeah other ways of being done is being killed so try not to die as well i've noticed a cool thing when you increase the radius to three and probably four as well you will be zoomed out and you kind of see more around look at the amount of enemies attacking us from all the sides so this is where those skills that do avoid damage really shine i think i will make a separate guide on other game modes if you like the video let me know in the comments because i'm curious about that the game is just really so i don't know how popular is that but i kind of like it it got a lot of cool mechanics wow this is a really fun game mode with insane amount of enemies coming from all the sides look at that our asteroid that's bombarding the boss is actually helping us quite a lot because it not only damages the boss and keep it at bay it also damages any enemy around the boss and killing them nice round 50 that's a major achievement actually because i haven't thought that i'll be able to hold on that long and the boss is coming from another side and beating everyone around it with the meteors that's nice round 75 and we are barely surviving here the amount of enemies on the screen is getting insane they're closer to 500 already and i don't have any way to take them out faster i need more attack and more attacks with any additional skills that will do avoid damage because i can barely destroy the enemies that are close to me but those ranged guys they keep coming in numbers and uh, yeah i can't do anything about that because the enemies are close to my uh, tower they're being attacked first so i can't really do anything to those guys around me and uh, the only way to take them out is using the boss because the boss is getting the uh, meteor attack and that's it so i'm wondering if i'll be able to hold to around 100 i'm actually wondering if my phone will die first because of this load on the screen or i will run out of spots on the screen it's pretty interesting mechanics guys i haven't seen something like this before at least not in that amount of units on the mobile game 1000 units that's insane and uh, we are around 500 and it's around 88 and uh the news for us that enemies start to get in through our defenses as you can see our health is fluctuating right now and what i think is important that some of the enemies that are weaker when they hit me i get the block so i don't get the full damage of the enemies but i think at some point i might need to upgrade my damage reduction and damage block and uh, i'd rather do it right that because oh my god yeah there we go let's save the day because my health started to go down really fast so yeah we really don't want that and the enemies are like the boss is dead now i can barely kill the enemies and they are clumping up on me look at that i might not be able to make it another boss is coming and he's going from another side and that's fantastic that will clear insane amount of air enemies from there there we go so much better yeah the phone is barely responsive i wonder if the game will crash we are at round 95 already and still about 500 enemies so i think we'll be able to beat round 100 and that will give us most rewards for the daily completion of endless mode i'm not so sure about my success anymore we are at 650 and we still have three rounds to go and the game is just 
stuttering right. I don't know. It's like maybe 5 FPS right now. Almost like a slideshow at this point. So I'm wondering if whatever I do will help. Um, anything I can do to help my guys? No, there is no way. If I could get an add with additional attack, that would help. But I had the chance to do it when the boss appeared. If you didn't click it at the same round, you don't get the reward. So, yeah, let's see. We are really close, though. I think we'll be able to beat it. All right, the boss is dead, and that's dangerous situation for us because we don't have asteroid anymore. And the enemies will keep coming, and we'll probably lose, but maybe not. I don't know. We are halfway to level 100. I wonder what will happen now, guys. It's very slow. As you can see, it's barely working. We are in the red zone already. So over 700 means a red zone and we are in danger. But I think we'll be able to get to around 100 at least. Let's see. Hell yeah, we're getting there. And then I will get the new boss. Yeah, and I will watch an ad. Come on, claim now. All right, we got the damage buff. I hope it will help to clear them out a bit better. But probably not. The sheer amount of enemies is still there. They are not going down. Or they are. For us, it's really important to destroy the guys who are doing the ranged attacks at us. And another boss is coming. That's a lifesaver. Because the boss will get away attack. And he will destroy everyone below him. It started to lag less because of that. That's nice. We are around 500 enemies again. So we survive for a bit longer. Somehow we managed to go to 400, so the enemies are dwindling, but I think once our buff will disappear, we got 28 seconds left, it will go south really fast. The boss will die, the amount of enemies will increase and we won't be able to fight them anymore. 3, 2, 1, 0, bam! No more damage buff, no more boss to save us, and the enemies are coming, let's see. How long we'll be able to hold on? We are at round 109, by the way, which is way more than expected. Another boss is coming. We can watch another ad right now. But I honestly just want to end it already because I think we've got all the rewards and going higher with this build is inefficient. We need something to destroy the outer enemies and probably more skills overall for our build. And that will be like world record run i will make a separate video on that later if you want let me know in the comments if you want that and yeah also let me know how far you managed to go in infinite run okay unique event we're getting the second boss in while well, the first one is still here i don't know how it will end around 120 by the way so that's unexpected can we attack both of those with the fireballs no only one Oh, we got an issue. So the asteroid doesn't work on the second boss if the first one was killed by it. So now we got the second boss over there and it will not disappear. God damn it, an asteroid doesn't really attack it. So we are in trouble right now. Moreover, we are at about 800 units out of 1000. So it's going to end soon. Guys, we are at about 1 FPS here. I am not sure the actual FPS, but it's... You can see it's a slideshow at this point. And uh, we are at about 900 enemies out of 1000. I think if I'll turn off the recording it will go faster because uh, recording takes a lot of my phone performance. So we will see how it will end because right now, I mean, yeah, it won't take long. Yeah, it, we will wait. We are at 940 already, so it's gonna end like right about now. No, we are fighting. Round 129 and we are still alive, but I don't think we'll survive this or the next round. Come on, phone, you have to survive. Don't die. In the game, we have to die. But the phone, I still need it. 960. Uh, we are going down the numbers. We got lucky critical or something. I don't know. The enemies are still dying. I don't really know why, because... Ooh, the boss is coming. That will clear the deck so much because that boss will be attacked by the asteroids. Take a look at that. Our suffering will continue. So let's see if, if he will be attacked by the asteroid. Hell yeah. It will clean so many of those guys there. Let's see. So it's getting closer. I think he will be attacked by the asteroid. Bam, there we go. We cleansed 200 of those guys straight 
away. What I will do, I won't re repair myself. I won't improve my healing, regeneration and that kind of stuff. And I will be killed because as you can see, my health is going down already. I could invest a little bit into damage reduction, damage block and health regen and survive. But I don't think that this suffering is something that we want to see. So let's end this. Almost there. My health is dropping rapidly. Almost there. And I'm dead. Nice. Killed by a ranger. Do you want to revive? No, thank you. And we've got 400,000 gold for it. Let's get double rewards. There we go. Almost 1 million gold. Let's go home. And I want to show you something. I've been waiting for this. We unlock the dungeon. This is pretty cool. And uh, the rewards. So we got... Oh, 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 oh. Okay, we got wave 1000 rewards. Okay. So let's get the ones that we can get from the daily challenge. Uh, we got two hours to refresh. So we got some research points. We got the scroll. And that scroll is unique because that is a scroll to summon heroes in advanced summon. That means that we will get heroes in this game as well. What the hell? And another one. And even more research points. Let's do some research. So let's try the dungeon. I want to see... Oh! What the... Hell is that? Oh! Ooh! Okay! Okay! I don't know what's that. Time to finish. 1 minute 35 seconds. So we gotta defeat the boss here, I guess. Uh... Max DPS then. I don't know what that thing is, but it looks scary. Or we need to do as many kills as possible. I don't know what we need to do here. Let's give more damage per range. Uh, I will focus on the damage here because I have no idea. I can't really zoom out. We have the maxed uh, range right now. It's three for this game mode. And well, the dungeon thingy doesn't really come close. Uh, it's broken in parts now. Look at that. It's not whole anymore. That's actually scary. Um, let's do a bit more aggressive style. And here we go. That's the tail of it. And we're good? I think we're good. Ooh. We got the rewards, some gold, and some gems. And we get different other dungeons. Uh, I don't know what do they do. But this one require one map 1 stage 30, this one map 1 stage 50, which we already did. What's wrong with you? I think we, I have to replay it or something. But yeah, what I wanted to tell you guys that this game have way more mechanics than I expected when I just started it today. And I'm really happy about that. That means that we will have heroes of sorts and other mechanics that I still have to unveil. So I'm not there yet. And that's pretty cool that you will get more unlockables in the game. So yeah, guys, let me know in the comments if you get any extra tips for idle, cannon, tower, defense, geometry, something. I forgot the name of the game. I'm sorry. It's too complex. And yeah, your comments, likes, and subscribes will help to promote the video on YouTube algorithm so I will really appreciate those. Also, you can check out the video description for additional links. LD players, you can play this and other Android games on the PC, my Discord, social media and other YouTube channels. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. That's about it for now. Stan Kosh out. Have a good one. Bye.